work. So, uh, it's kind of ironic, we are under a tornado warning for the next two hours, and we have been all morning. We've had very severe thunderstorms. Um, I got out to go get my supplies for this project and left and was hydroplaning and water was everywhere, there was lightning crashing, and then by the time I left the store, the sun was completely out. I just got an update on my phone saying that we're still under a tornado watch for, I'm sorry, tornado warning, whichever one's worse of the two, I don't know. Uh, we're under that for two more hours. So I'm in my shop, <clears throat> the stove is burning, um, and it's hot in here, which is just stupid because it was freezing uh, when I left. So, so today... I'm going to talk to you about a little project that I've been working on. Um, so I've got this very large barn door. Um, it's got a floating tongue and groove core and a big frame around it. This is the bottom <clears throat> and this is the top. Now I've got these holes drilled and in these holes there's going to be bolts, hex head bolts and I got those at the top as well as the bottom. Um, I've got some nails in there. Now the nails uh, I just put in and then leave there when I put the stain on and that kind of patinas them a little bit. But the customer wants black um, bolts. Now I've painted a lot of bolts and tracks and hardware and I hate that because it's crap and it comes off and I know that but that's typically the only way to do it. So today we're going to try a new experiment. So I went to my big blue super center and ironically they were the only ones that had this stuff. Um, but this is called super blue. It's by Birchwood Casey. Um, it's a gun blue for steel um, and supposedly this can turn your metal black. So we're going to try that. Now I also before starting this read online that uh, you might need to use some uratic acid uh, to get rid of the zinc coating on <clears throat> your bolts. Now I didn't know this before I bought my bolts so I went ahead and just bought a bunch of these guys and then realized after the fact that they are zinc coated. So I'm going to try and take the zinc coating off, um, but before I do that I'm going to try the gun blue just for funsies and see what it does or doesn't do uh, on the zinc to set up kind of a control. Um, then I'm going to try and strip one and see if I can do that and blue that one as well and then figure out which one works better. And from there, I'll do the rest of them. So let's get started. So to start, we're gonna use just the gun blue on one of these guys straight out of the box. Hey, if this works, I might even blacken my knife. That could be kind of cool. I'm not gonna just pour it all in there because I don't want to waste it. <clears throat> I also don't know how much I'm gonna end up using. So, let's put this guy in. Oh wow, holy crap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even have a paper towel already. Hold on just a second. So I thought that was going to take a hot minute and it took like seconds. So let's see if this stuff like rubs off. I don't want to touch it. I should go get some gloves. Wow. So, so far... It seems to be just staying on there. I don't know if that's gonna, you know, really work on the zinc or not. <clears throat> um, wow. So I may try the <laughs> muriatic acid anyway, and just see what different results I get. Since you know we're doing a scientific experiment here. All right. So now we're gonna take a <clears throat> zinc-covered bolt and just stick it in the hydrochloric acid. It is smoking <clears throat> and bubbling and smoking. It makes me wonder if that's all that safe. 
Wow. <clears throat> so I'm going to set this aside and see what happens to it. It's actually turning black on its own. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, time for a disclaimer. Um, I have no idea what the heck is going on right now. So to be safe, I've got this mask, uh, which is rated for chemicals as well as organic uh, stuff in the air. I have nitrile gloves, so chemical free. Um, and I've also got safety glasses. Now these are kind of thin, but they are rated for chemical splash as well. Um, they're not going to melt or anything like that. So I'm going to try that again with the hydrochloric acid um, after I put the dogs outside just because it was smoking and that means I don't know what the heck was coming off of that. So <clears throat> um, let's do that again. Alright, so we've got a couple of interesting things going on here. Um, first of all, all of the bolts that I've done are turning this very weird gray color or black like this. Now the black wipes right off, um, but they're sitting over here, they're turning gray, and they're smoking, which is interesting. Um, I'm going to do these final bolts, but then I'm going to try and figure out. I'm going to neutralize this and get rid of it. Um, if I grab the cup like this, this this acid is hot to the touch. So there's a chemical reaction going on in here that is exothermic, and that makes me nervous. So I'm going to finish these up real quick. It really doesn't take long to burn that zinc off because it's a real thin coating. And I'm going to be sealing these bolts after, the, after I do the super blue so they won't rust. Alright, this, uh, these things are almost too hot to touch, so, kind of crazy to me. I'm going to try and neutralize this and go throw it away. That's crazy. Alright, so, these are the ones that are straight from the acid. I can see there's some that all the zinc came off and there's some like this one that all the zinc did not come off. Um, so I'm going to do all of these and we're just going to see which ones turn out what way. Now these are the ones that I didn't take the zinc coating off and just dipped them in the blue. So I'm going to leave these three off to the side as kind of like my control and just see what happens. So let's do that. There's my blue. It's like instant. It's crazy to me. So I just put that one in for like a second. I put this one in for like a minute. I'm going to do 15 second intervals here for the first four. So they've been in there for roughly one minute. <clears throat> the whole thing's starting to turn kind of green. So, let's see what happens. So this is my one minute 
45 seconds, 30 seconds, and 15 seconds. And that is where we're at with these. So I'm going to see how they turn out, get them cleaned up, and then we'll go from there. So here they are fresh out of the blue. Um, you can see there's a lot of like white corrosion or something that has gone up on there. Probably because I didn't do a very good job of cleaning between the two. So I've obviously ruined the blue to ever be reused. That's why I only used a little bit. Um, and also most of these ended up falling over. So instead of just doing the top, it ended up doing almost the whole thing. So I'm going to get these dried off and cleaned up and see what kind of results we got. And there we go. These are very black, which is awesome. Um, I'm really surprised how quickly... So when I looked at blueing steel, it was always literally blue. And this is black, which I love. Um, and it doesn't come off. I can't rub it off. I can't uh, do it with paper towel. Now, I'm going to let these set for a minute and then try rubbing them again. But it looks to me like that oxide or whatever is on there is going to stay. So I'm going to do this to another batch and we're good to go. So this is it. This is awesome. Those pieces turned out nice and dark. They're not like flat. I mean, they are flat, but they're not like crappy painted bolts. They look like they're powder coated or, you know, electro whatever. I mean, they're just phenomenal and they look great on this door. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of them this way because I've got two doors to do and I've also got supports on the back with brackets going across that you can't see um, and all those need to be blacked as well. So that is awesome. But that's pretty much it guys. So to recap, get yourself some muriatic acid to clean off the zinc. Get yourself some super glue available at your local big box blue store. Rhymes with small smart. Get some baking soda to neutralize that acid. And of course, safety first. Make sure you wear your mask, your gloves, and all that stuff that I wasn't doing because I'm an idiot. So um, if you're looking to black your steel and you don't want to paint it because you know, you're know you not a beginner, um, do this. This is awesome. I've never done this before and I'm really glad that it worked out this well because now I can do this whenever I want for multiple projects. So um, that's pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit subscribe down there at the bottom for more quick tips and uh, more experiments like this. Go through it with me. Let me try it first before you go spend the money and we'll find out the results together.